Fierce fighting has been raging between Yemen's rival factions in the south of the country a day after Ali Abdullah Saleh, the former president, urged his allies to withdraw from the areas they have captured. The United States approved of Saleh's message and Saudi Arabia's decision to stop airstrikes. A White House spokesperson addressed the global press on Saturday afternoon. This was a Saudi decision that it took in concert with its coalition partners. Uh, the secretary and others have been having conversations with the Saudis about how we can get the parties back to the negotiating table, how we could get to a ceasefire, how we could help on the humanitarian side. We certainly uh, don't tell the Saudis what to do. They make their own decisions. We talk to them about the situation as we see it. In spite of the promise to cease strikes, factions are trying to gain more ground in Dar Saad, which is a district near the southern port city of Yemen. More than 1,000 people have been killed in the fighting since late March, according to the United Nations, which also said on Friday that at least 115 children were among the dead. At least uh, during the period between 26 March and 20 of April, 115, 115 children killed, 172 maimed. Um, we, we believe that these are conservative figures and the total number of children killed or maimed could be higher. Saudi Arabia and its Arab allies launched the air war at the end of March as Iranian-backed Houthi fighters swept across the country. The spiraling conflict has fueled a humanitarian disaster in a country that was already suffering from shortages before the latest fighting erupted.